I got it. I got it. Perfect, perfect example. It's not exactly one word. Dos mucho, my boy. Too much. Your boy is just always too much. Your, your boy is always with the extras. So really, this y'all fault, honestly. Just truly, it really is. I would be already at a million subs, but it's y'all fault. Bad Popping fam, it's your boy Jay Salma, and today is uh, Friday, so it's another special day for you guys, so I wanted to add something in here. Hold on, let me make it look like it's a different day, like I'm not recording all these videos on the same day. Hey, there we go, look at that time change, y'all don't even know. So, what's popping, y'all? How y'all doing? So, today... We got another Ask Jay Sama on the, on the table, and uh, I know you guys have been really liking these videos, so I decided to keep putting them out, man. I decided to just keep doing it. We got a couple of questions today. Hey, since um, you guys have been submitting to my Discord with oh so much just vigor, I decided to betray you and take the YouTube comments today instead. There's only a couple, so don't even worry about it too much. Hold on, let me pull them up, which I probably should have did ahead of time. So Dominic Cho says, uh, what are the goals for 2018 and do you see yourself accomplishing them this year? Um, to answer your question, Dominic, absolutely not. That is that is not something I, I, I even think that I'm going to do. My goal this year is to hit 5K subs before December. I would, to be honest with you, I would preferably, I would love to hit 10. I would love to hit 10K, but I feel like I'm not putting out the right content, I'm not dropping the videos at the right time, I'm just not doing a lot of things correctly, and I'm not inspiring my community to help push your boy forward. So really, this y'all fault, honestly. Just truly, it really is. I would be already at a million subs, but it's y'all fault. Y'all just not, y'all dropping the ball, man. I'm making the content, I'm just playing. <laughs> But uh, yeah, man, you know what? I want to hit in between 5 to 10K. That'd be nice because that's like right around the time of like you're able to book branding deals. And that's been a real big thing for me because I really need branding on my channel because uh, I would love to make two to three to four videos a day if I could, if I feel like I could successfully put those out with only having to put one branding video out. So, you know, if I you know, do a Dollar Shave Club video or some type of sponsor or something like that, which I should probably start reaching out to sponsors now, but I don't think my audience is of the right, um, like, area to really maximize being able to provide. See, now I'm just going into rambling, really. This is just a whole different video at this point. Like, I don't think my audience is, is the right size and parameters, like, what people are looking for in order to advertise on. So, um, Dominic also asks, use one word or phrase that describes me as a person. Oh, you mean me? Oh, man, that's a tough question. How would I describe Jay Sama? Uh, Aurora Borealis. No, that's not, that's not a good one. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got it. I got it. Perfect, perfect example. It's not exactly one word. But I consider it one word. Dos mucho, my boy. Too much. Your boy is just always too much. Your, your boy is always with the extras. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know that's how that go. My boy Ruka says, uh, who wants to donate to me so I can donate to Jay? Listen, listen, bro. Listen. I appreciate your, your uh, candor. I appreciate you trying to help your boy out. But you better start going slang that lemonade for your boy for the one time for the sanctum fam Nah, i'm just kidding man hey i appreciate anything and everything that you guys donate you guys have honestly you guys have fed me the past month just to be real with you because uh your boy was hungry and when that youtube money came in i was like fam about to eat bread and water we lit I, i'm just really really thankful for whatever it is that you guys donate whatever you guys and whenever you guys click the share button to be honest with you whenever you guys watch a video like all of the videos that you guys have been watching lately it just really has filled me up with like pride and joy for my community that i want to keep putting out videos like i have not missed a day except for the days that i said i was gonna miss but i haven't missed a day in weeks <laughs> so you know it's just uh xavier asked what is one thing in your life that you massively regret doing? I, okay, so the, the cool answer, the suave answer I wanna give you is the fact that I don't feel like I have 
any regrets because every single decision that I have made, I've made it uh, in order to learn the lessons that I've learned to get to this point. That's the G answer. The actual answer is a bunch of shit. Oh my God, dude, there, there's just so many things that I fucking regret. Like even just small, tiny shit, like, like sometimes just farting in an elevator or walking in front of somebody that also farted in an elevator or specifically not getting in an elevator, going up an escalator backwards, running up the wrong version of an escalator, like when it's going down, but you're trying to run up that bitch and then people are coming down and it's just, I regret that shit. Not listening to your girlfriend, not listening to your ex-girlfriend, only listening to your ex-girlfriend -girl uh not putting yourself in a position to actually not have an ex-girlfriend you know shit like that like it was just all sorts of shit all over the place bro and I, I could make tons of jokes and i could make tons of shit to talk about but honestly really it's just my one big regret is that sometimes i i overthink things i overthink and then on some stuff i underthink and that is a huge fucking problem uh shifting clouds asks when are you when are you so used to the things being bad and things suddenly go well? How do you get accustomed to a nice life where things are going well? Um, to be honest with you, my boy, I wouldn't fucking know because <laughs> I just don't. I'm not in the position to say things are going well in any way, shape, or form. I'm just grateful for the things that have shown up and for the things that I have. So stuff leaves my life every single day, bro. I lose more and more of my dignity, sanity, and self-respect every single day. I just I just don't even know, man. But if, if I had to guess when things are going really, really well and they're consistently going well, and how do you get accustomed to that? You don't. You never get accustomed. You just stay being grateful. That's the best way that you can actually do things, just to be honest with you, man. And uh, that's that's actually it for the YouTube comments. Um, so we're going to go ahead and move over here to the Discord ones. We're going to answer a few of these and then call it a day because I am fucking tired and you guys have some dope ass questions. Let's see. Zex asks, uh, if you had to name your child after an Animu character, I assume that's his version of saying anime, uh, what would it be? Gilgamesh. That's not even... That's a dumbass question. Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh, Spike, Jet, and um, 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 uh, this is assuming I have a fourth child that I want to name after an anime character. It would be... Uh, it would be, I would have a daughter and I would name her Kikio. I know, as cheesy as that sounds, yeah, it's definitely, uh, yeah, I, I like, I like the name Kikio. So, let's see, uh, Reese as do you believe that everything happens for a reason? Um, hmm, do I believe that? Yes, yes I do. I do believe in, in something like that happening, but really it's just like so hard to peg. It's just one of those things where it's like, you either do or you don't. Um, I also believe that fate is a legitimate thing. I also believe that um, just a bunch of other stuff that is like gets really, really deep that I'd rather not discuss until I have way more subscribers and it'll actually mean something because I don't mean mean something. I mean, it'll like blow up where it's like popular YouTuber says outrageous thing, like something like that. So when I hit a million subs and then I say some wild shit, like that's when it goes like controversial. So, um, but yeah, I think everything does happen for a reason. And sometimes we just don't know what those reasons are, but you know, everything is on a specific path in my opinion. And sometimes we just pick things and paths divert and then we'll just keep going. And then those paths divert and then so on and so forth. And it just keeps going. So, you know, everything is already here. Everything has already happened. Everything that will happen. I don't know, <laughs> just all over the place. Uh, let's see. Zach asks, so like if Pokemon was real, first of all, I don't even want to read the rest of this question, honestly. Just Zach, I'm not I'm not reading reading the rest of this question, bro, because this regards Pokemon and I just as a man of culture, I, I just simply cannot answer this question properly. I just can't. I feel like I'm not the person of proper experience. I'm the person of like the right amount of culture, but not enough experience to really explain what it what it is, you know what I mean? Uh Hidden Leaf as is it is it gay to have more than one gay friend in your inner circle let me tell you right now how would this possibly be gay i don't understand how this math correlates it just don't it just don't add up fam this is what we not finna do my boy we not gonna put these homophobic questions i mean it's 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 okay to a certain extent like you guys know i don't give a shit about 
jokes or anything like that but when it comes to like friends and like people that are supposed to be close to you and stuff like that like when it's questions like this and it's just pure stupidity bro this is the shit that i will not put up with so hidden leaf next time you put some crazy shit up in my motherfucking chat bro you will be banned so goddamn fast i fucking promise you oh shit what did i do and for my last question, Zach, my boy, he asked, so Jay, how's the acting coming along? Hey, listen, man, I don't wanna talk about this. This is, this is the one fucking thing that I don't wanna fucking talk about, all right? Because wherever the fuck my acting is going, that's where the fuck it's going, okay? I, I, don't, I don't have any opportunities right now. I'm not really necessarily looking for opportunities right now. And let me just, let me just fucking tell you, bro, it's just, it's hard out here for a pimp, okay? I'm just, just letting you know right fucking now. And there we go. So acting is going somewhere. I don't know where the fuck it's going. I applied to a bunch of roles yesterday. Tomorrow I need to apply to roles. Today I need to apply to roles. Next week I need to apply to roles. Like I'm just really just out here just trying to live it up, bro. I'm really just trying to be the best me that I can be. And um, I'm also, in that regard, stand-up comedy's not going so well either because I haven't gone up on stage in weeks just because the fear of getting on stage has gone, has come back. And I don't mean like the fear of like, oh, I'm afraid to get on the stage. I mean the actual fear of like going and being by myself and doing these things. Like if I had like one of my homies to go with me, cool, I'm going up, I'm, it's no problem. And the ultimate, the real fear I have is being very inadequate because I don't write jokes. I actually just try to remember things and I tell stories. I tell them to the best of my ability and I try to remember and write down what these stories were, but I don't write jokes down verbatim because that shit just doesn't, it just doesn't work for me. I'm just a natural person who just goes off the fly. My improv is great, but I really wish I was better at like reading and performing what I read. So hopefully Hopefully I get a little bit better than that. Um, but there's, there's a long way to go, bro. I'm still at level zero, to be honest with you. I'm at 0 0.1, but I'm still at level zero. So, But that's going to be it for this week's set of questions. If you guys have any questions, make sure to submit those to my Discord. There's a link down in the description. Also, you can just leave your comments on this video because I'm going to come back and check them. The more comments and the more questions that there are, the longer the videos have to be. And then I have to make two parts and then you guys get funny jokes all the time. It just, it just works out for everybody. The more content you want, just leave more and more questions. I mean, I know you guys got questions and stuff. Some of y'all was asking me in the stream the other day about like, so, you know, PUBG and Fortnite, all this other shit. That video's coming, by the way. It's just not done because I got to play both of those games. Uh, for 10 more hours and then you know somebody else was asking me opinions about their girlfriend and their side chick which that don't sound like a good idea at all my boy so you know definitely don't do that shit but anyway this has been your boy Jay Sama and I will catch you guys tomorrow make sure to give this video a like if you guys enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you are new this has been your boy Jay Sama and I'll catch you guys tomorrow make sure to keep it canon